Welcome back, folks. You're watching Sport Federation TV. We keep talking about sport in the province. It's great to have you along. And, uh, well, we know it's difficult times for the sports structures out there at the moment. But nevertheless, um, sports are still continuing with uh, events, uh, continuing in some cases with training, all uh, as, uh, um, you know, according to the uh, sport uh, guidelines and regulations, as um, as is permissible. One of the sport codes that you, we, we've had on the show on a number of occasions, but different codes within the sports structure is, of course, shooting. Now, one of, one of the big codes in South Africa as part of the, the national structure is pistol shooting. And I've got the president of uh, Western Cape Pistol Shooting, Moyadin Beg, on the line with me. Moyadin, um, welcome to Federation TV. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. Um, Moyadin, first time for us to have you on the show. Uh, it's very exciting for us. Uh, we've spoken about so many different types of shooting, um, from air rifle to black powder shooting with Corina de Beer. And um, we know that in the shooting space, there are so many of so many different sport codes. But um, um, it, it, pistol shooting, I mean, for, for folks who, who've, who do, who've never seen a movie or don't know what a pistol is, just tell us a little bit about what is pistol shooting? Well, pistol, I think, I don't think there's anybody that hasn't seen a pistol. But anyway, so, so we put pistols to uh, a good and legal use, if I may say. So uh, pistol shooting basically started in the Olympics way back, I think, in 18, the 1890s. And uh, it was a single shot pistol with a barrel that's probably plus or minus 10, 10 inches, uh, or almost 30 centimeters long. Wow. And it's been hosted and is still hosted uh, at the Olympics. Um, so, for example, for the men, we have rapid fire and air pistol, of course. And for the women, we have something called uh, standard pistol um, right. and air pistol, of course. Um, these firearms, they basically shoot 0.22 rounds. Um, as, uh, um, you know, as, as a member of the, the South African Pistol Federation, and obviously with Western Cape being affiliated, um, we, we participate in those, those, those events. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so what we also have offer as the South African Pistol Federation, uh, and therefore the Western Cape Pistol Federation, is a, a handgun shooting, including pistols and revolver. So it's, it's, really, it's really about target shooting, okay. as opposed to some of the other types of shooting where uh, chaps are, are basically running around, engaging targets, etc. Right, so right. our sport or our type of shooting is much, much more about precision. With a, I mean, you've got an event coming up in October, the, from the 14th to the 16th of October, Western Cape event. Um, yes. um, what sort of distance, before we talk about that event, what sort of distance is the, is the shooter standing from when they're shooting their pistol? Okay, basically, uh, most of the events, well, the Olympic type events um, are, are from 25 meters. Okay, and uh, there are one or two events that are from 50 meters. Now, these are the Olympic type events. Right. Now, the other type of target shooting where we use uh, the sort of recognizable pistol and, uh, and the revolver, it's exactly the same, except that you'd also shoot from closer distances, like seven meters and 15 meters. But here, of course, you're shooting a lot faster in, an, uh, in a few seconds. Right, right. Uh, and the further, the further back you go, with the, uh, the furthest distance being 50 meters, um, you'll shoot a little bit slower. So, for example, the main event called the 1500, where you shoot a total of 150 uh, uh, bullets, so therefore your maximum score is uh, 1500, not that uh, anybody got close to it. Um, <laughs> you, you, you'll shoot 24 rounds in, in, in 2 minutes and, and 45 seconds from four different positions, including uh, your left hand. So, so it's very, very challenging, and it takes, it does take a long time to get used to. It. And uh, is it absolutely. then, of course, like we see on TV and uh, with the round circles, uh, um, uh, or is it, does it look more like a dartboard? No, no, it looks uh, uh, well. Dartboard would be like circular. Um, our, our targets are, are, are oval uh, uh, in, in shape, and they also don't. Uh, we don't have any pictures of, of, of animals or. Yes. Or, or human human silhouettes and so on. Right, right, uh, right. So, so the target, the main target, would be basically a big black oval, or rather uh, a rectangular uh, black target, 
with lines in, in the oval shape. And uh, where typically in yesteryear they used to use the silhouette of a human head, it would now just be an arrow pointing downwards. Is there something that 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 um, gives you the gives you the the edge? Like, for example, maybe you can breathe better than someone, or you can concentrate better than someone, or stand still. I, 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 what, what are those uh, advantages that? What, do you need to be fit to do this sport? I, I think, as far as the attributes go, yeah, yeah you, you need to be uh, fit, relatively fit. Then again, you know, um, one of our experts, shooter, um, is now retired, but he was still shooting very, very well and beating the entire field at the age of 74. So, so it, it's discipline. But then again, he's been shooting for a total of 50 years. Yeah, yeah. Do you have age groups in the competitions? Oh. No, we don't have we don't have age groups um, except for 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 juniors. In other words, they'd be younger than 21, and yeah. anybody older than 21 would be senior i suppose but we don't make a distinction between someone that's 21 and 65. tell us a little uh, bit about the championships that's coming up on the 14th to the 16th of october well the championship is over a period of three days the thursday friday and uh and a saturday and we'll host all the events from the olympic type shooting to the other type of uh, uh, target shooting so on the thursday we basically start off with the uh, some of the main events uh, that the, the, the seniors engage in. Yeah. Um, and then as we move uh, to Saturday, it becomes more and more inclusive where people, perhaps they can't get off from work or, or whatever. And they can now, you know, shoot some of the simpler or quicker events on Saturday. Um, when was your last uh, championships? We know it's been difficult over the last few years with I mean yeah we're thinking now of years but <laughs> with COVID starting of course uh, since the lockdown um, I'm assuming that you when yeah when was your last big event well the last big event was in in, in 2019 wow um, everything in in 2020 and, and this year so far uh, has basically been cancelled but yeah. people have been practicing um, and engaging in sort of what we refer to as postal competition. So we'll have our little competition here in Cape Town, and some guys will have a competition in Pretoria somewhere. Uh, uh, for the for the average person that is watching the the show right now and is listening to our interview, obviously um, um, your safety standards from a shooting perspective are are very strict. Absolutely, very very strict, very strict. Yeah. Um, you only get to use a loaded firearm under the direct instruction of a range officer. Anybody on the range at any time, if not engaged in competition shooting, is not allowed to have, besides a loaded firearm, not to actually have a firearm in their possession. Moyadin, um, any big names that you're expecting to come through to this championships that are going to be putting their hand up to walk away with a with the title? Do we do we have any favorites? Um, well, personally, I have a favorite, and that would be me, I suppose. Um, in, in our club, we, we have four uh, senior shooters in our club. There, there are two clubs in Cape Town. Um, so, so we're all expecting um, a first, second, or third, and uh, we'll obviously uh, fight that out on the, on the field, so to speak. <laughs> well, it's fantastic, Moeda. It's fantastic chatting with you. It's fantastic to know that you guys have maintained connection with your with your athletes and that you have got an event coming up i think it's so positive that you know people know that sport is continuing and that the likes of yourself and your organization is behind the scenes making sure that the wheels are turning so um you know we say we say to you thanks for for chatting with us and best of luck for the event send us lots of pictures and videos and of course good luck Thanks very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. There we go, folks. Moedin Beg is the president of uh, Western Cape Pistol Shooting. They got their big event then on the 14th to the 16th of October. And um, if you are interested in signing up, you know, you can find the, more about pistol shooting in the Western Cape on their Facebook page. Just go and do a, a, um, a search on Facebook for uh, Western Cape Pistol Shooting. But otherwise, SA Marksman is the website that will tell you more about pistol shooting in South Africa. And... Um, um, but definitely you can reach out to Moyedin and his team 
to find out how to get involved. And, and it's great to see that there are more, multiple codes or multiple solutions there to help you from a shooting perspective. We'll take an ad break when we come back from the break. We'll carry on talking about sport in the province. Back in a sec.